everybody, it's Miss Carrie again today. I am going to, we're going to do a little project today. So we're going to make these awesome little um, parachute, parachutes out of objects that you have laying around your house. So um, just a few things that we're going to need today. We're going to need a regular old plastic shopping bag. I think most of us have one of those laying around our house. Um, could be from anywhere, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you have a particular color favorite, you could use those. So we're going to use a plastic bag, uh, a cup of some sort. It can be plastic, paper, um, any size really will do. You don't want a real heavy bag or a heavy cup because obviously it will pull your parachute down too fast. Um, you will need some scissors and some string. Cut to, uh, four pieces all cut to the same length. I used about a foot. Um, and then if you have a paper punch, paper hole punch, that is going to be very much easier for you to put holes into your cup. Um, I don't have one, so I used a skewer and very carefully did uh, poke holes in it. So um, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our plastic bag and kind of fold it to kind of its original Shape. And then we're going to just cut the handles off, just straight across so you have a square at the bottom, just like that, and you can recycle those. Um, so what we want is we want four holes in our bag near the opening. So. What I've done is I've kind of tried to get them across from each other, so on the edges. So these are right across from each other. I'm going to take my scissors and about an inch, inch and a half up from the edge, I'm just going to make a tiny little snip. I'm going to do that on both sides. Just a little snip. And then we're going to go to the other sides and kind of measure by doing opposite corners. All right, make sure you get both the pieces together, about an inch, inch and a half up, a little slip, snip. And on the other side, same thing. All right, so our bag is all ready to go with four little holes. One on each side of the bag. There's the other one. So we've got our holes here. We are ready to add the basket to the bag. Um, so what I've done with my uh, with my cup and string, my string is actually more like as a cotton yarn. Um, so it's a little thick. I've got a yarn needle that I'm just going to thread the yarn through, and then because my holes aren't paper punch holes. Um, I'm also going to want to make sure I can get that through. So we're just going to pull them through and we're going to do that with all four of these. And then we will be ready to string it up to the bag. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all four strings attached to our cup. Um, the next thing we're going to need to do is attach our strings to our bag. So we want to find one of the holes that we have um, Cut into our bag and we're going to, <laughs> the string cooperates, uh, we're going to just put a piece, one of our string pieces in one side and I've got them so half of the string is in and half is on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them together and I'm just going to tie a little knot right at the top, tie those two pieces of the same string together. Just like so. So you see we have our first string tied to our bag. I'm going to continue and uh, tie the rest of these onto our bag and we'll see what we get. All right, so I've tied the rest of my strings to my bag and this is what we should have. Something that looks something like this. Um, you can make this your own by doing a different um, length of string by hanging something different, like a different style of cup or a size of cup. You can use a different type of bag if you would like. 
Um, you could try using a sandwich bag or um, like a bigger Ziploc bag or something like that if you'd like to try something, something different or go really big and use a garbage bag. You could try all sorts of things with this. It, this there's no right or wrong way to make these. Um, I mean, as far as, you know, use your imaginations and you could color your bag if you want to. If you have some, some permanent markers, you can always ask about using permanent markers first. Uh, but you could use those if you, if you have permission to do so. So let's just give this a try, see if it works. All right, we're gonna throw it up super high. Woo! And there it is. We've made our own DIY parachute. So we've decided to come outside and try our parachute out here. I brought Supergirl with me. She's gonna ride in our basket today. So let's give this a good throw. Well, you might have to wad it up a little. Let's try to wad it up a little bit. See how we can what we can do here. Woohoo! Uh-oh, she didn't have a very good landing, unfortunately. But this seems to work pretty well. This is a great activity to do outside. Um, get you outside and get you moving. So enjoy your parachutes. Um, if you would like to share them with the library, we would love to see pictures or videos of you playing with your parachute. That would make us super happy. So enjoy your parachutes and have a great day, kids.